Hello and welcome to Joy of Books with me, Miss Joy. Today's book is Hitler's Canary by Sandy Toxwig. This young adult fiction book was released in 2006 and contains 304 pages. Sharing his views on the book today is author and teacher TC. This is an excellent book. I am going to be honest, I would never have chosen this book many years ago. In fact, when I was growing up, there was a famous television series in England called Bottom, in which the main characters regularly criticised the author, Sandy Toxfig. So they were very uh, unpleasant towards her. So you know, I have to excuse my ignorance from my childhood, but I'm clearly the one who lost out because, like I say, this is an excellent book. It is set in Denmark during the late 1930s, early 1940s, so of course, World War II. And you have this main character, this young boy, 12-year-old, called Bamsi, or Bamps, and his older brother, Orlando. And he also has a sister, obviously, his parents heavily involved in the theatre. His mother loves the theatre. His father is more practical and does the design sets for the theatre. And that's quite relevant for later on in the story. Like I say, the story is set in Denmark in the 30s, and unfortunately, like many countries in Europe at the time, it was occupied by Germany. So this book is all about how people react to that situation, and many people react in different ways. You have the king, for example, continuing to ride around Denmark on horseback, saying hello to his subjects. You've got others that are rebelling against the Germans. You've got some who are adhering to the Germans' commands. So it's all about this idea of fear and mistrust and generally not knowing what's going to happen and what the situation is. And I guess if you've been in that situation, this would really resonate with you. Of course, I haven't, so I wouldn't know. Uh, the, the father's brother, Johan, for example, he is in favour of not helping the Germans, but going along with their instructions and their requests. And of course, over time, this builds up and leads to unrest and disagreements within the family itself. The title, Hitler's Canary, is a reference to how Denmark was viewed. So the idea that you know, Germany keeps Denmark in a cage and Denmark sings for Germany and does exactly what Hitler wants them to do. It doesn't fight, you know, it's a, it's a pleasant country. So that's where the title comes from. Uh, Bamsi has this, or Bamps has this Jewish friend, Anton, same age. And of course, over time, he has to wear a, a hat to cover his uh, skull cap because of his religion. The daughter as well is in a relationship with a young German soldier who's fresh over there. And the whole book centres around the idea, really, that people do the wrong things sometimes, and sometimes good men do nothing. And, of course, all of this leads to problems. It's a really well-written book, thoroughly gripping. I, I really enjoyed reading the book. It just so happens that I was actually watching the film The Pianist at a similar time to this, so it really... So it really doubled the gravitas of the events of both the book and the the, the, the film, The Pianist. Obviously, two separate, very separate texts, but with very similar themes in World War Two. I think it was Poland, wasn't it? It was occupied in The Pianist. So the the book really shows the scale of war and how it affected everybody globally. You know, I didn't really realize I would never have had Denmark on my radar as a World War Two fighting country. To be honest, you always think of France, Belgium, of course, you know, Britain, but not so much Scandinavia, not so, certainly not so much Denmark. But I think seven or eight thousand Jewish people were forced into hiding in that country. And of course, the book shows how they tried to save these people and hide them and to get them safely uh, to a different country. So Norway was the country of choice. And they'd go from this uh, Hamlet inspired point of Elsinore. Uh, and they travel obviously eastwards to the coast of Norway to safety. Yeah, really, really interesting book. I did not expect it to be this good. I don't even know what made me read it, to be honest. It was the canary, I think, that attracted me, but uh, I was not expecting this book at all. I didn't even know before reading it that it was about World War Two or even Denmark. So there you go, the value sometimes of striking literary gold when you least expect it. Yeah, great book, thoroughly recommended. I would put it as children's historical fiction. Perhaps, you know, 12 upwards, I would say, would be fine with this, given the themes of war. But wonderful book, highly recommended. Well, thank you very much for your review of this children's historical fiction book, TC. 
Hitler's Canary by Sandy Toxvig is available from all good book outlets. Thank you for joining me and please remember to like and subscribe to Joya Books.